It's our first RV trip ever. <laughs> ways were flooded so we only got like halfway one way and then like a quarter way the other way we just turn around we're gonna go back to the RV and take it to the dope station we've never done that before but in preparation I watched a ton of RV videos and I watched the movie RV Which is kind of an expert. so I'm basically an expert so I didn't record our our first ever RV dump station adventure because I was afraid that it would be a really a big disaster. <laughs> and Don did really, really well. We got it done and it was like no big deal. I was like, oh, this is it? Okay. So the movie RV definitely makes it seem like a bigger deal than it is. It's fine. We just left Hillsboro State Park. Cooper River State Park. It was beautiful. It was bigger than I thought it was and it was quiet. We had such a great time being able to just nap in the day and sleep in and um, they had nice clean hot showers and bathrooms and so that was nice. Okay so we stopped at a place to get peanuts. Boiled peanuts. Boiled peanuts. No, you look a little tired though. Is that, that like better? <laughs> what is happening? What's happening? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not a cat cruiser. How do you know how I identify? <laughs> We're eating corn from the farm stand where we bought the boiled peanuts. 
And we got some mashed potatoes and some like beef tips at the grocery store at Publix, which is only three miles from here, so that was nice. And this is our first um, night in Wikipa, Wikipawa. Oh man. Wikipawa? I didn't memorize it. Wikipa? The campground's not as nice as the other one. But at least it has a direct sewer dump, like so we can use the toilet and stuff, and not have to go to the dump station. That's nice. And bears have been spotted in. Oh, the area. and this is bear town. So where the other one, there were signs everywhere about alligators and like not walking near water because <laughs> you'll get eaten. Um, this one has signs everywhere about bears and like all the trash cans and stuff have like the bear like resistant like clasps and stuff. So that's really cool. So the sites here have electric water and the new dump and it has like hookups for like a hammock. But you can see the road from here. So I'll show you that later. Um, you can see the road and hear the cars. That really sucks. Whereas in the other one that we were at in Hillsboro, it was deep into the wildlife preserve. And so there was no real traffic. It was really, really quiet. It also had a lot more playgrounds. It had those cool yurt. Whereas this one seems kind of like a little less, there's less investment in it, but there's a lot more hiking trails and then there's like the springs and then like the waterfall and, and like a little store. So can't wait for tomorrow where we explore all that. Okay, bye. We're at Wakiwa State Park in Florida, just north of Orlando. Not far from where we have to drop off the RV and it's very close to like everything like shopping groceries laundromats unlike the other one there's a lot more commotion here a lot more you can hear traffic and stuff but beautiful trails and a lot more springs and water so we're gonna do some long hikes today and it'll be good for our lungs good for our souls and good for pooping <laughs> about the things that he wants to put in our RV kit for when we get an RV. It makes me very excited. So last night I said, I think if we ever got an RV, I would just pack an RV kit ready to go at any time. And now he's already starting to say like, we should add an ax to that and a shovel. And I think we're gonna get it in an RV soon. Why not? So I haven't shown you yet. We have a 30 foot break. I call it a rig, even though I don't think that's the right terminology for it. We have a 30 foot camper and it was more than enough space for us. We actually think maybe like 20 feet is good for us. Oh cool, I didn't know that. So tell me, Don, how has your adventure in the RV been? Your first time driving <clears throat> one across state lines. Driving a U-Haul truck, uh, as I described it simply before, almost like a bathtub on wheels. A little bit of wind blow, you feel it. You think you're going to crash into every car that drives by or every tree on the side of the road. But, surprisingly, handy. So, bathrooms, dogs, kitchen, beds. When I start snoring, someone can open a window just right away. Not stuck in the tent. I 
recommend it. Give it a shot. Why would people need to open a window when you start snoring? Start snoring out of my butt. <laughs> 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 After eating boiled peanuts. <laughs> what do you think about the Wakiwa State Park in comparison to Hillsboro River State Park? Oh, I love it. This, uh, this, this park here, you know, it's uh, well, been around for 123 years. You see, it's actually not true. I'm trying to do Cliffy Clavin. Very different. You know, this one has a lot of the, the pine trees and the section where the trees just changed. You know, went from pine trees to a bunch of almost palm. Know, palm. Palm. Yeah, I went to palm trees. I'm gonna say it like that. Palm. A bunch of palm trees. Uh, even that sounded kind of like Fargo-y. Uh, kind of palm trees, and then you. You keep going a little further, other kind of uh, green deciduous trees that kept falling down. And, but we had the dogs with us in case there was some kind of a bear wanted to come up and eat us. And we had little dogs, like, no. But it's uh, a lot of trails, you know. We got our own uh, little uh, poop, poop dump right by our RV, so it's pretty good. Um, lots of trails, lots of amenities. Yeah. Are there lots of trails? I, I, one or two, one or two trails. Uh, I think the old uh, ranger back there said we got 26.1 miles of trails. It's like a marathon. This is what she has to deal with on a trip. When it's just she and I, she has to deal with my many personalities. <sighs> she's laughing now. You don't see her when she's pulling her hair out. I don't pull my hair out. It's already falling out. I need to help it. <laughs> Give it a chance. <laughs> No, it's great. These parks have been great. It's we're we're close we're we're close by a street, but it's still not baseline. For those who know, you know. Um, still get fresh air. Still get you know people that are kind walking their dogs. Everyone says excuse me and hello, which bugs the hell out of me. But they're still nice. Yeah, I'm like, why are you talking to me? Yeah, hey neighbors. I, don't, I just keep looking down and yeah, pretend don't, I don't see them. <laughs> we, don't, we don't say that out loud. Every now and then my, my fake southern drawl comes out. Hi. I'm like, hey, how y'all doing? They just fake it till you make it. But it's, it's, it's been nice. It's nice reconnecting with nature. Short though this may be, it's something I think everyone needs to do. All right, folks, you heard it from here. RV camping is a go for us. Maybe we'll come back to Florida again. Maybe. <laughs>